So I'm reviewing the new Samsung NX1 camera and I went and took a bunch of footage with it. Really excited to go see it in editing, only to be extremely disappointed by the fact that I can't even watch the footage I took on this camera. And I didn't know this until I, I did a little bit more research, but the NX1 writes to H.265 codec format. And if you don't edit a lot of video and you don't really know what that means, it's the next generation of what we expect to find in video editing. Uh, what we're on right now is H.264. And H.265 is going to make the files higher quality and it's going to be a smaller file format. Unfortunately, Apple, which is what I edit on a Mac, and Adobe have not upgraded their systems to recognize H.265. So I can't actually view it, let alone edit it. So I then started to do some research on how I could actually get this converted over to H.264 so that I could edit it. And what I found and what Samsung sent me as the options are Samsung's own movie converter, which I tried. It doesn't work on Macs. I had to go on my Surface and try it, and the Surface it was not a great, I mean, it wasn't a great experience, nothing to do with the surface, it was just not a good experience. Um, I thought that the files came out looking pretty bad, so I wasn't satisfied with it. Um, and then all of the other programs that Samsung recommended, they also were bad. They, they were either really expensive for what I, just the simple testing on trying to get it done, or the whole the format of them was just bizarre. Like, it would give me a bunch of options I didn't need. So I was at the, my wit's end. I could not figure out what I wanted to do until I found that there was a post on DP Review made two months ago. Nobody commented on it or replied, but this guy created his own totally free converter. And I'm gonna share that with you because if any of you are planning on getting an NX1 and H.265 is not at this point ready for market, it would be a good idea to convert it and have something that looks good. I did some tests and the files look perfect. There's nothing wrong with them. They don't look bad at all and they're in full resolution. So the program is called RM Movie Converter, and the first time I downloaded it, I got it in Korean. So I'm gonna make sure to send you only the links that are gonna work in English so that you can get it. But let's take a look at how it works. All you have to do is drag in the file, just change it from, it's, it's a, it starts at 1080, I changed it to original resolution, and kept all the original frame rates and bit rates, and just hit convert. The only real problem with this is that and it's not really just with this, it's with anything that you're converting, it takes time. It, it, some of these other ones that I was using that were paid took a really long time. It would take them three or four minutes to convert a 50 second clip, which is to me almost unacceptable. Here, this at least doesn't take the entire length of time the original clip was. It's not fast by any means, but if this is the only way for me to actually view my files, I'm okay with it. So for all things photo and video, as well as the Samsung NX1, make sure to keep it locked to resourcemagonline.com.